Hello everybody, I'm Adam Bilsing and this is the Oregon Drum Project where we do deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is a lesson day and our topic is Flamacue Accent Variations Part 2. So if you haven't seen part one, rewind back, check out last week, it's back there. But for now we're going to get right into the play alongs right after we play this intro. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna get right into the play-alongs. If you'd like to download the practice information that I'm about to go through, you can get that on my website at dirtybandana.com in the blog section. We'll also have a link down below. Nobody calls it practice information, it's practice exercises. We're gonna do numbers six through 13 at 75 beats per minute. Try it out, see how it all goes. Then I'm gonna circle back around afterwards, talk about some tips and tricks and some variations you can try with these exercises. So let's kick it. Okay, so flamacues. Let's start by breaking down what a flamacue actually is. It's a five note configuration. Starts with the flam, ends with the flam. So it goes like this. Flam, left, right, left, flam. Or you could play it the other way around with a left hand lead. Right, left, right, flam. Now traditionally the accents are uh, configured like this on the second note and the fifth note. But we're moving them around a little differently for these exercises here. Oh my god! All right, this is the alternating singles alarm. Fast as I can, alternating singles between my hand and my foot. Go! Gosh, those are still bad right now, but I want those Vinny chops. All right, so talking about switching it back and forth, the accents usually look like this for a flamacue, but for these exercises, we're moving them all over the figure, adding in multiple accents, changing them all up, trying different things out. So the way that I break these down, for example, if we want to look at uh, number six, sure, why not? So the first thing I do is make sure that I've got flam accues under my hands. Just a normal sticking with the flams where they're supposed to be. Then I'll check out the accents. I'm going to take out the flams and play the figure just with the accents. So for number six, that's on the one and the E. 
And my usual tips apply. If you want your accented notes to sound very accented, the easiest way to make that happen is for your quiet notes to stay very quiet. So now I've got a sense of how it sounds with the accents and I can go ahead and add the flams back in and try the whole thing all put together. And play it like that as slow as you need to to get it under your hands. Then start to speed it up. Until you get it up to the tempo marking we tried it at, play it at 75, and then once you've got it at 75, move it up and start playing it a little quicker. I recommend always using the click track when you're moving up to higher tempos. That way you're not just blazing through as fast as you can with no idea of groove, um, but rather you're playing it at an actual tempo marking. So those are the ways that I break these down. If you want to do some variations, you can throw in some things like uh, doing your feet where the accents are instead of your hands. And uh, you can even play your flams with your feet if you want to. So like. That's kind of tough. You get the idea. You can uh, put flams where all the accents are if you want that as a challenge. Be creative. You can try it out all different ways. You can play a double stroke on any accent that is not a flam. I don't know. Be creative. You can play these about a million different ways. Flam cues are cool to me because they're a little strange and we don't work on them very often. So that's why I picked them for today's topic and last week's as well. All right, that's going to do it for today's lesson video from the Oregon Drum Project, Flamacue Accent Variations Part 2. Remember, if you want to get the practice material that we worked on today, it's available for free for download from my website at dirtybandana.com in the blog section. We'll also have a, a link in the description right down below so you can get there directly. If you'd like to follow along and make sure you don't miss any episodes of the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also catch me over on Twitter and Instagram at Dirty Bandana, on Reddit at Dirty Bandana Drums, and you can get all the information for everything about the Oregon Drum Project including an awesome merch store where you can buy shirts like this backbeat shirt on my website at dirtybandana.com. That's it for now. We'll see you all next time.